What up YouTube, uh, back with another box break review. Uh, this time I got for you guys a review of Panini Prism Basketball. Uh, this is a uh, product that just came out this past week. It comes with two autographs per box, six cards per pack, and 20 packs in total, which equals to 120 cards per box. Um, th guys, this is a very, very unique product from Panini. And the reason why I say unique is because of the chrome looking texture to these cards. Panini, since 2009 and up to now, have, has not made a product like this. Uh, it is, in my opinion, a big step forward um, uh, in, in, car, in car collecting uh, for basketball because, like I said, I, Panini has not done this before with their basketball cards. and. And for one, I am a big fan of Topps Chrome, and uh, this is the closest you're going to get to Topps Chrome uh, in a while because, you know, Panini extended their NBA license ag agreement to 2017, which kind of sucks. But that's a different story. But to get back on the box break uh, review, this is, uh, I'm just going to say this flat out, guys. This box is a very, very fun and very great box to get. I really do recommend it. I'm, I'm recommending it right off the bat because uh, of the nice texture looking uh, feel to the cards. And uh, also the different variations of players. And also the different variations of inserts that come in these cards. The inserts are what make this product and I really, really enjoy them. And they look very nice, very high quality as well. They look very great. Um, but first off, I'll show you guys some of the regular base cards that come in. Of course, you're gonna get your variety of players. And of course, you're gonna get Hall of Famers and Legends. Here's a couple right here of Larry Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal. Sorry for the reflection. Here's a very nice one right here, Pete Maravich, Pistol Pete, and of course, Scottie Pippen. And like I said, you're going to get a, a variety of players, uh, Hall of Famers, Legends, Retired Players. Uh, here's like Lottie Devot, Sam Jones, Larry Johnson, Tony Kukoc, Moses Malone, Bill Walton, Terry Porter, Roland, the Black Man, of course, Isaiah Thomas, just to go through a few. Uh, and like I said, you're going to get 120 cards per box, and you're going to get uh, very nice, high-quality looking cards. And I'm just going to go through a couple just real quick, so, just so you guys can see them. But if you really uh, take the time to look at these cards, which I'll, I will do right now, they are very, very nice looking, very great uh, uh, designs on them. Even though they look simple, if you look closely with the card, they have a nice texture feel on the borders, which is a very nice uh, look to the card. Um, also, like I said, I'm a big fan of chrome, and the chrome look to these are just they're real splendid. I really like it. However, the only bad thing I could say about the regular base cards is, uh, you know, the description's great. The pictures are great. Is the only pet peeve I have, of course, with Panini cards, is the stats in the back of the card. If they had all the stats of every single season, let's say that Big O, Big o the Oscar Robson played, you know, that would be great. You know, for collectors who really enjoy reading the descriptions and looking at stats. But, however, in this case, you know, they only have the career totals, which is uh, somewhat of a minus. But I'm not going to take too much off of the grading because the cards are very nice looking and high quality as well. Which I am very, very uh, happy that Panini is really uh, stepping up their game. Uh, now to get to the, I guess one of the bad things about this product, it's the rookie cards. Now, like I said, back in my NBA Hoops product, there is no way you could distinguish the 2011-2012 rookies, and I don't know why rook, uh, Panini can't come up with a symbol for those rookies. You know, the regular rookie cards from from the 10-11 class, I mean 11-12 uh, class, you know, they're just regular looking cards. As, as you can see, maybe Kemba Walker is the, the only different one, but I mean, still, look at Derek Williams, looks like a regular card. Look at Corey Joseph, looks like a, looks like a regular card. Jimmer Fredette, Kyrie Irving, they look like regular cards. You know, if I compare it to a regular card right here, see? There's no way you could tell that they're rookies. That's the only bad thing I see about those rookies. Uh, however the case uh, may be, though, the, they do distinguish the 2012-2013 rookie class, of course. And they have uh, the rookie photo shoot uh, photos here. So here's a couple right here. Tyler Zeller, Austin Rivers, and, of course, Bradley Beal. 
And the only way you could tell the difference is, of course, it's the rookie photo shoot stuff. And you can see the M NBA court in the background like that. <clears throat> now, I'll go ahead and, and show you guys, uh, let's see, some of the inserts. Here are the prism cards. These are the refractors. Essentially, I guess that's what Panini calls their refractors prisms. I have no clue, honestly. But here's a nice one right here. You can barely see it of Tristan Thompson. You can barely see the refractors kind of stuff. But these cards are very nice in person. They are very nice cards. They are not numbered. They do have uh, some serial numbered and short print uh, cards. They, and their autographs too. There are some autographs that are refractors that are short print as well. They have gold refractors and they have the USA cards as well. Which I believe those are kind of rare to find. <clears throat> now to get to some of the inserts. By far the inserts are very, very nice looking. Uh, maybe not this one, but the other two are very nice. This is a very nice Ray Allen. Uh, this is a downtown bound. Of course, this is a little subset that they have of good three-point shooters in the NBA. And it's not numbered. Here's a very nice one. It's a very, very, uh, very quality design on the card. I like it a lot. It looks real nice. Very nice one right here of the Admiral David Robinson. Very nice little texture feel to it. And uh, last but not least, I love this product. And I believe I'm really contemplating starting this set, but... It's going to be probably too expensive, but Panini, I do commend you for making this set. This set is the finalist set. It has ev every card has a player who's won an NBA championship on it, uh, who's won an NBA championship, and they are on the card. And it's real cool because you can see the NBA championship in the background. And in addition, they the player is wearing their championship jersey, which is a very, very unique thing and very cool thing and I really do commend Panini for doing that. The design on it is just awesome. The chrome looking feel to it makes it even better. Um, now for the hits, like I said, you get two autographs per box. Uh, the hits, they, uh, they're okay. I mean, it's nothing too great. The bad thing about it, of course, they are on sticker. And that's the other bad thing about it. But here's the first hit I got of Antoine Moore. The, the hits, they're just real basic design. I guess that's a one bad flaw I can point out about them. But, yeah, that's the only one flaw. And sometimes the hits, they, they will yield good value on them, and sometimes they don't. Uh, in addition to that, they do have superstar hits, and they, uh, NBA superstar hits, uh, regular uh, and regular uh, retired and Hall of Fame autographs as well. Uh, the big hit, of course, I got in this box. This is the second time I pulled him this year already. The big hit I got was his Anthony Davis rookie autograph. And like I said, my, my girlfriend pulled this card. But like I said before, there are refractor, uh, refractor cards that are autographed and that they are numbered to 25. And there are some that are gold refractors as well that are numbered to 10. So... Very, very nice card. Very uh, great autograph right there to pull. And plus, uh, the product, I love it. It's a very great product. It's the closest thing uh, to Topps Chrome. If you're a big fan of Topps Chrome, well, this is Panini's version of Topps Chrome. <laughs> do I recommend this product? Product? Uh, you bet your ass I do. It's a very, very great product. Maybe not at this price. Maybe not at $100. But if you have a chance to get it for $80, I say you go for it. You're going to have a lot of fun opening this product. The cards are very nice. The inserts do yield a lot of value, especially the USA cards and the finalist cards as well. Uh, the refractors are nice looking. Also, if you pull the gold, uh, the golds that are number 10, those also yield good value as well. Overall box, it's just uh, overall value. It's there. It, I think it will hold as well in the long run. And in my opinion, Panini did a really good job with this product. So I really recommend you guys checking this out. Uh, I prefer this over their uh, <laughs> Panini Gold Standard. I'll just say that. So. Guys, be sure you check this out. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you guys uh, purchase this box. Uh, let me know as well if you all want me to uh, do a review on Tops. Uh, not on Tops, but on Totally Certified Basketball. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoy it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.